Hi, everybody. Welcome to a Quickie with Miss B. I'm Miss B. Today is Thursday. Thanks again for joining us. I am glad that you're back to listen to another <laughs> story. <laughs> Don't know why. But thanks well, for stopping by. And as always, don't do it alone. Bring lots of friends. <laughs> yeah, because there's some weird, there's some weird stories this week that uh, yeah, you'll probably need someone to either hold you or explain <laughs> to you what our problem is. <sighs> anyway, all this week we're talking about the great outdoors. Today is Thursday. We're going to talk about my own fish aquarium. <laughs> this should be interesting. Okay, I don't think, I don't know if I told this story before. So, my dad used to have a house on the lake many years ago, and I used to like going up there on the weekends because it was nice and relaxing and quiet. So, I'd go up there on the weekends, and they had a nice, really big dock to sit on the end and just kind of overlook at the lake. So, every morning I'd take my coffee and I'd go down there and I'd sit on the end of the dock. Now, I noticed at the end of the dock, the little fish were flo- or floating, swimming by those the are, crappies. Those are dead fish. <laughs> <laughs> they were dead. They're crappies, and they were, um, what do you call them, sunfish, panfish? Oh, yeah, perch. Yeah, perch. Thank you. So I noticed them, and, you know, I thought, well, it's kind of cool. So one day I get up in the morning, and I said to my dad, I'm like, do you got any cornflakes? And he's like, yeah. And I said, oh, cool. So I went and grabbed some cornflakes. I'm crunching them up. I'm putting them in my little, you know, plastic baggie and take my coffee and I go down to the dock. And I'm sitting there for a while. My dad's like, well, you've been back for a while. I say, yeah. So I didn't say anything else. And he's kind of wondering, what the heck am I doing down there? You know, I mean, you can only look at the view for so long and yeah. then you get bored and you move on. So the next morning, <clears throat> I'll get up, do the same thing. <laughs> I'm down at the end of the dock. And I'm taking the um, cornflakes and I'm putting them in the water and I'm watching the fish eat them. So it's like having my own little private aquarium. <laughs> my dad comes down and he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> he's feeding the fish. Oh, really? <laughs> he goes, with my cornflakes? I'm like, yeah, they really like the cornflakes. <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my dad said. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> So he's like, huh. He goes, that's kind of crazy. I said, yeah, but look how much fun it is. It's like having your own little aquarium. And you don't have to worry about changing the water or dealing with fish poop or any of that (laughs) because they're in the lake. (laughs) My dad's like, huh. Mm -hmm. So then the next day, get up, get the coffee, get my cornflakes, go down to the dock. Pretty soon my dad's joining me. (laughs) Now we're both down there feeding the fish. (laughs) My stepmom is like, what is going on? You two have been down at the dock for quite some time. I said, yeah, we were feeding the fish. She said, what fish? And so we're telling her because she lived in South Africa for many years, so she's not familiar with all the types of critters that, you know, we have here in Minnesota. <clears throat> so the next morning, all three of us. Oh, my <laughs> word. With our coffee, with the cornflakes, and we're all feeding the fish. This is what happens in Minnesota. <laughs> now it's gotten to the point where all three of us are on the dock in the morning. <laughs> and we had a neighbor across the lake. Oh, no, the neighbors are involved. He shouts to my dad, what you doing? My dad goes, feeding the fish. He goes, are you baiting the fish? Because he thought that he was, you know, like my dad was trying to, you know, catch them on purpose. And he's like, no, no, we're just feeding them. He's like, what? He goes, yeah, he goes, we're feeding them cornflakes. They really seem to like it. (laughs) No kidding, he says. (laughs) Next morning we get up, we go down to the dock. There's the neighbor on the other side with his coffee at the end of the dock feeding the fish. (laughs) Wow. In case anybody wondered... Uh, this type of Minnesota mentality, is it contagious? Yes, it's contagious. It rubs off. I thought it, I thought it was awesome. You got to see the fish, you got to feed the fish, and you didn't have to clean an aquarium. 
because the lake was the aquarium. <laughs> I remember I've seen that before where people feed fish, and I always thought that was weird. That and those petting zoos where everyone, you put a quarter in, you get a little tiny thing yeah. of food, and they walk up and they go, look, you ate it out of my hand. You're like, what? <laughs> they just ripped you off for a quarter. You know me. I'm like, they just ripped you off for a quarter. No, no, no. Yeah. You put a quarter. I know. How much did you get for a quarter? Think about that. What is it? Ninety dollars a pound? Come on. But I do have to say so and say that every time when I went down the end of the dock, I'd put my hand in my water and kind of splash or you know, make a little noise, and then the fish would come and I give them their food. And... I see me. I'd have been sitting there just smiling. Oh, I'd, have my coffee. I'd have had a I'd have had a net on a long pole just smiling. <laughs> Just sitting there while you guys are all enjoying your time. And as soon as you guys got up and walked out, I'd take the net and go, scoop. All right. Well, I'm eating these. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt if somebody did that. <laughs> Why get a pole when I can just have them do it? <laughs> exactly. They're coming to the top. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, crap. He got us. Yep. Oh, crap. <laughs> No, that's not the person that feeds us. He's going to eat us. Yeah. <laughs> knew better than to go up to that net. Damn. <laughs> Where's the other lady? Where'd she go? <laughs> you know, you really He's shouldn't splash up. around the water like that. You had us come up to the top. This isn't fair. <laughs> Where you been? Fishing. That was fast. Yep. How'd you do? Really good. Got 12. What'd you cast out once and get 12? Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that one look like Freddy? I don't know. <laughs> Who's Freddy? One of the fish I feed. That looks like Freddy. <laughs> you killed Fred. <laughs> I don't know about Freddy, but I'm eating this one. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> And on that note, I'm going to go eat some cereal. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. You're listening to A Quickie with Miss B. If you missed the first half of the episode, please go back and check that out. And as always, thanks for listening. It's greatly appreciated. All this week, we're talking about the great outdoors. <laughs> Today, what? we're talking about fish aquariums. <laughs> now, this one doesn't really have the great outdoors, but it has a fish aquarium in it. <laughs> well, you're bringing the outdoors inside. Let's look at it that way. Yeah, see, th- th- this one, this one had. Uh, oh, let's see, when, when me and the former missus got together, a little young boy, he's uh, two years old, and she always wanted fish, and I was like, you know, you're just you're just dating somebody, so you try to like you know overdo it. So I'm like, oh, well, here's a twenty gallon tank. Yeah, <laughs> here's some exotic fish. You know, what I mean, so I, I I've got these. You know, they're fresh water, but you have to treat the water. And there's all these weird fish in it and all that. And then uh, just out of the blue, one day, the little one got up, a little, little ahead of schedule. <laughs> it's not that big a deal. He goes and gets a little, you know, little. there's cups of milk already in the refrigerator. Uh-huh. All right. Well, he, gets, he got his little cup of milk, but then he saw orange juice and thought, you know what? Fish like orange juice. <laughs> So, uh-oh, so I'm uh-oh. doing that, you know, uh, you hear the pitter-patter, so you stand up, uh-huh. you know, scratching your bum, heading towards the bathroom, rubbing your eyes. And out of the corner of your eye, you see, you know, Minute Maid. <laughs> so you don't think much about it, and you start to go in the bathroom and close the door, and then you realize there's a child on a chair with Minute Maid. <laughs> As a matter of fact, none of that adds up. There's no scenario I can think of in my brain as I'm going, child, chair, Minute Maid. Well, it makes sense if he's at the kitchen table, but he's in the living room on a chair holding the gown of Minute Maid. That, that appears to be wrong. <laughs> so I poke my head out the door, and I'm like, so what is that? And then I see it. I'm like, oh, God, no. The, the, the fish tank is orange. <laughs> They like it, he says. I'm like, oh, God. Now I can't see them. <laughs> but I know they're all going, oh, God. Hey, oh, God. Oh, 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 what? And they're all dying. He's like, they like it. And you just 
the tank is alive with splashing. They're like, we're dying. He's like, they like it. <laughs> <laughs> so not, you know, nothing's working right. I, I, I kept, this is where my anal retentiveness, my OCD, backfired. Because I like to have the little box with all the fish stuff in it so I know where it is. And then you put it away. Yeah. Well, now I need all the fish stuff and I need the fish stuff right this second. <laughs> but it's all put away. <laughs> So I have to run in the kitchen and grab one of those handled strainers. Mm-hmm. So I get a bowl of water and the hand that little handle mesh strainer starts scooping this down. I'm like counting the fish. There's four, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, and, like, and they're like you know almost kind of swimming maybe, but sort of floating and not quite sure. What are you, are you done with the orange juice thing, dude? What's going on? I've got them all accounted for now, and I'm like, you can't do CPR and fish. So I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So I'm like just shaking the bowl, going, come on, come on. You guys will be fine. Come on, come on. Now I remember you got to treat the water, so I got to run and find this thing. I'm not kidding. I forgot about the orange juice. And here he comes. They like it a lot. He pours it in the bowl now. So I, I don't I don't know what to do now. <laughs> so I just literally pick up the bowl, dump all the orange juice right straight through the strainer, so all the fish are in the strainer now. I got gill movement, and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's flopping anymore. Nothing's really happening. So I'm rinsing them off in the water, and I fill up another bowl, and I dump them in the bowl, and they're kind of like just floating, you know. And I'm like, I squirt in a little bit of the stuff. I'm like, well, this isn't going to work, but, you know, whatever. So I go set it up higher, and it's a glass bowl, you know. And I set it up on top of the refrigerator now, and I'm like, yeah, okay. So I got to pick up the big 20-gallon tank, dump it all out. She's still sleeping. I'm cleaning it. Well, I'm being super good, super great, super awesome. And, of course, as a typical woman, as a typical woman, she gets up, didn't see her, just walks to the kitchen. Hey, what? Why are there fish on the fridge? <laughs> I was like, well, we had a problem. Well, I don't think that's how you handle it. Well, we had a problem. <laughs> putting fridge, putting fish on the fridge doesn't fix the problem. It, it, it did. So, you know what? You know, if you weren't there, then, you know, hush. Because, uh, yeah. She's like, what are you doing? I was like, they're dead. They're all swimming, Christine. I'm like, yeah, okay. I just finished doing the water. I went, you know what? What? I was cleaning the tank. <laughs> That's it. She goes, well, what do you mean there was a problem? Nothing. There was no problem at all. Just dumped him right back in. I was like, yeah, okay. Whatever. doesn't matter what I have to say right now. I'm stupid. So, yeah. Did they all live? Yeah. They all fine. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, there's no evidence now. Until later on, she says, where's the orange juice? Yeah, okay, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Not a problem. I told you about the orange juice. So he really did, yes, he really did that. <laughs> what do you think? I thought, I'll drink all the orange juice, and then I need a backstory now? <laughs> oh, wow, I can't believe I drank the whole gallon of orange juice. I better make up a story. <laughs> really? We need to go to the store for some orange juice. Yeah. 